Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Breaking Bad Rat Season 4 Episode 3 and this one is titled Open House. So let's get back into it. Do you have a black eye? Yeah. <laughs> It's like he got excited over the coffee, but then he remembered that it's like Gail's recipe and that they got him killed. Camera. It follows him. Yep. I'm not leaving! Ah! You know, Skyler, now is not a good time for me, okay? Can we talk about this later? No. His eye. Okay. Why are you doing... <gasps> oh, Jesus. What happened? Nothing. I just bumped it, that's all. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm coming in. It's complicated, and I don't wish to discuss it. It's none of your concern. Are you in danger? What? Uh, uh. Walt. Maybe. Let's just say that I have a hell of a lot more on my mind right now than thinking about buying a damn car wash, okay? You gonna go to the police? We, t we, we tell them everything, that you're a drug dealer, afraid for your safety what? and, and whoa, the safety whoa, of your family. Whoa, whoa. You keep saying that word, danger. Danger. Yeah, but you no, just and I said have that... never used that word. I said things were complicated, and then <laughs> you flew off the handle. Yeah. I had an argument with a coworker. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he hit me. And <laughs> got heated and out of control, and he hit me once. And I didn't retaliate because he's a much older man. And that's it. You were in a bar fight. Yes, Skylar, I was in a bar fight. I'm a bad boy. So you're okay? Really? For now. <laughs> Frozen peas. What? On your eye. It's the best thing for the swelling. I need you to promise me that if things do get dangerous... Skylar. Promise me. Absolutely. Hi there. Can I answer any questions? Yes. Any chance of a top off? So, she's. What do you think? Oh, Art very nice. Gallery? Very. Uh, Michael Kilborn. Tori Costner. It's nice to meet you. Very nice. Uh, three bedroom. Oh, There's a open house. Seat out and back. Permit usable as office or guest suite. Mm. How's she doing? Floors. As a matter of fact, a little boy. Oh, how old? Uh, he turned four in May. He's a Gemini. Would love this yard. Oh, well, <laughs> plenty of space for a jungle, Jim. You said the casita has plumbing? I work a lot with Her clay, outfit so is very interesting right now. Running water. Well, it's pipe fitted for a quarter bath. This could work. <laughs> like fantasizing <laughs> about new beginnings. Oh, uh, because, yeah, her life right now is not. <laughs> Watching yeah. porn? Wow, wow, wow. I had to go to three different places to get the moisturizer that you like, but I got that, and I got Maria, I said Cheetos, not Fritos. Wait, I... I must have said Cheetos like ten times. You need me to write it down for you? No, and I don't need you to be mean about it either, Miss... Where are you going? I... Back to the store, I guess. And the draft's not for two months, so this is useless. She took that? Of course what? she did. She's a kleptomaniac. What? Marie. You want to do something? Go-karts? Go 
It sounds fun. Yeah, there's a mm -hmm. track uh, down by the Coliseum. No. Actually, I have some kind of a meeting. His face. Rain check. Yeah. He doesn't want to be alone. Sure. How you doing? Well, he Good. just reached out to you yeah. and you said no. Is there uh, anything we should talk about? How's your eye? Anything we should talk about? For what it's worth, getting the shit kicked out of you. Not to say you, uh, you get used to it, but you do kind of get used to it. Two words, nail and salon. It's perfect for money laundering. It's a high volume, cash preferred business. You took a run at this Bogdan character and he wrestled you into submission with his eyebrows. 10 million, that was the asking price, right? You just sit back, relax, and let a professional take over. I don't accept that he won't sell. I, I think he just lacks the proper motivation. Motivation? Ah. Let's threaten that's him at gunpoint. Motivation, motivation. I mean, just so we're on the same page here. Sell it. <laughs> make him an offer he can't refuse. Nothing so dramatic as that, no. She's wearing green. Attitude adjustment. Okay, there's always, you got a real nice place here. Be a shame if something happened to it. That angle. What are you talking about? Violence? Mm-hmm. Well, what's Attitude your idea, adjustment. Skylar? Oh, what do no, you want to do? That, no, that is not at all what I meant. I, we do not do that. That's not who we are, right? Yeah, no. No, no, no of course not. I don't like him. Oh. Bogdan. He was condescending to me, rude about you, and I do not like him. What do you what do you mean rude about me? Something along the lines of you weren't man enough to face him yourself. Oh, she's what trying to get him you mad. You woman to do your business for you. Okay. She knows uh, what she's doing. I advise this one. against it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> she got what okay, she wanted. So, uh, she's all an we evil have to do genius. Is think of a nonviolent, unsuspicious way to purchase the car wash. That that doesn't cost twenty million dollars. We say please. Don't everybody speak at once. <gasps> Walt, go apologize. Mm. Hi. Can I answer any questions? Aren't they something? One for each of the 50 states. I, Puerto Rico is technically a territory. Huh. Maybe they were thinking someday. <laughs> Let's take a tour. Okay. Actually, I have a handout for you. She'll take the Puerto Rico spoon. Oh, Marie. I'm Stephanie Doswell, by the way. Charlotte Blattner. It's Someone already missing. NASA was like a second family to us, but, you know, it was time for a new adventure. Any children? No. I don't really want kids. Garbage disposal? lived in London for years, so yeah, this feels familiar. Where in London? I, I was stationed at Upwood in the 60s. Right downtown, but we were almost never there. My husband is an illustrator, so we traveled a lot. Paris, Italy, Denmark. It was before the kids were in school, so it was easy to pick up and go. That was before my youngest, Lucy, was diagnosed with endocarditis. Oh my oh. god, Mary. Marie, sorry. It's a... Is she all right? Uh, Your daughter. Is she okay? Yes. Very lucky. I just called the police.
police. Okay, then. I know you stole that spoon. Excuse me? And a liar, making stories up about yourself. What's wrong with you? No, what's the matter with you, lady? My husband is a DEA agent. Oh, I thought he was an astronaut or an illustrator. You better get your crazy lies straight. You know what, fatty? You are so lucky that I am late for an appointment. Let it go! Let it go! Let it go! You are in big trouble. She's <clears throat> fucking losing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just, hey, just slow down. Start from the... You, you're where? Why the f... Why are you... Jesus, just... Uh... He can't go to her, right? Would you stop crying? So, good news. The officer spoke to the homeowners and they're not going to press charges. Good. I won't either. Murray. Okay, then. So, we're good to go. You ready? She doesn't want to go home. Marie, you want to go home? Mm-mm. mess with the water yes it's Skylar White calling for Saul Goodman please yes it is important sabotage him thank you I don't know but something to do with soap water uh Sorry. hi same as before it's a ammonia acetone benzene nitro build benzene. something no. you're gonna need to replace your system entirely please do you know what cost that is? $200,000. If you get going immediately, your downtime shouldn't be any more than four or five weeks. The state requires you to suspend all commercial activity until these levels reach the mandated minimums. Where is, Bad for him. Where is Gary? Tell me why you shut me down. What laws did I break? What laws? Several. Tell me exact specific laws or I refuse. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 okay. Okay, the New Mexico Hazardous Waste Act of 1978 the offender may be fined not more than $5,000 each day in which the violation occurs. All right, okay. Now, under the Toxic Substances Control Act of 1976, U.S. Code Title 15. She's on Chapter top of 53. it. Satisfied? Was that specific enough for you? <laughs> Well, he, she would have to wait for him to reach out to her. I think because it would look suspicious. If she's like, "Oh, uh, would you um, like to reconsider?" <laughs> hey, Marie, how are you doing? I I'm okay. Is there a problem? I'm here for Hank, actually. Oh. Actually, I could use your help on something. Homicide, possibly drug related. You want my help on a case? And you're a pal I just did a favor for, so let me pick your brain a second. Mm -hmm. You ever come across a guy by the name of Gail Bedecker? Nope. Someone came along and shot him in the face. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's what he so needs to, like, it's a crime of passion. get back in it. We found a notebook at his place. I made a copy for you in case you're interested. Looks like it pertains to some kind of methamphetamine super lab. Uh, it's filled with scientific formulas. What is this, some sort of a charity thing? I thought your expertise could be useful here. I'm lying here like uh, third base, living from bowel movement to bowel movement. I'm not even useful to myself. Well, my Use advice, your brain. If you could just take a look, tell me what I got here. Will he see the name of his rock? Like one of his rocks? Uh, minerals. I'm so sorry, Hank. Oh. <laughs> but the uh, the blue tint? I don't know. The minerals have to be That's what I do. relevant. <laughs> I'm so curious. I want to know what's in that notebook. Tyler, it has been five hours. No call. <clears throat> Just wait. It was a good idea. It was a great idea, but it didn't work. So why don't we I'm sure he'll call. chalk it up as a learning. 
White residence. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolinitz. Am I still interested? Yes, 879 was the original offer, but that seems high to me now. Now I'm offering 800. No, no, no. Why? Because you're an unpleasant person, Mr. Volinitz. You were rude to me. 800. Uh-huh. Well, I understand that you're disappointed, but that is my final offer. I'm sorry we couldn't make it work. Goodbye. What <laughs> are you doing? Who cares? Do you know how much I make in a day? Yep, just to stick it to the him. the very reason we need to negotiate. You just went too Dang. far with it. You calling him names? Well, he's not calling you back. I mean, you didn't honestly think that worked. Yeah. No way. Sorry. Don't question her. So, well, <laughs> it's time to move on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is psychological warfare. Hello. Hello, Mr. Volinitz. Hello, Hello, little really bitch. Uh, I'm not even that scared of burning He's up and throwing his money. The thing that worries me is, is getting trampled or, or shoved up against the chain link fence. There's no amount of money you can pay, fire. Jesse. Hey. Hey. Money! Money! Hello. You're here. You're here. I told you we'd get it. Uh, uh, Did you? <laughs> this is truly amazing. It is. Well, it better be. $320 a bottle. What? How did you pay for it? What do you mean? Cash. I paid cash. No, I'm, I'm asking how did you, Walter White, an unemployed school teacher, Pay for it. How, how do you explain it? Skylar, no one saw me. Because on paper, we have no money. You are completely overreacting. We had savings. I'm asking you to be smart. I bought... From now on. One bottle yes. of champagne. And look at Watergate. One one little piece what? of duct tape left <laughs> oh on a door God. brought down the President of the oh, United States. What? I, I'm Nixon now? No, that could ruin us. No, she's right. She's right. But from now on... Fine. No more $300 bottle of champagne. That's reasonable, right? Gotta destroy the evidence. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. When I learned about what sort of distraction... I Read it. ...whether it changed, it's changing every five seconds. You got your Cheetos, my dude? ...to uphold the decision and the findings of the EPC and the loophole. <sighs> I'm the affirmative. All those opposed say no. There's four in the negative. Uh, that passes. Oh, come on. Okay. So, can't wait to see what he finds. But also, I'm a little bit scared. But it's fine. The good thing is, I do think that if there's anything incriminating Walt in this, he would come to see Walt first. Or if he suspects anything, he could he could even ask, like, if there's nothing incriminating Walt, he could go over to Walt and ask questions about the chemistry of it all, you know? Because Walt is a very good, experienced chemist after all. So if there's anyone who has input on what's in that notebook, especially since it's his freaking recipe, but you know what I mean, like, he... If he doesn't know that and there's nothing linking Walt to it, he might still come and ask questions. But if there is some stuff and Hank is like, whoa, like that's Walt's name or that's Walt da da da, like small details like that, he probably would come to see Walt first instead of being like, hey, it's my brother-in-law. Like, would he try to cover it up? I do not know. But... It's a very... That's the thing with uh, characters from Breaking Bad. It's hard. Like, even when you feel you have a good grasp on someone's character, they're so unpredictable, but also predictable at the same time. Like, you can know what might happen. Like, you can see the options. Either this or that. 
but then you can't really predict which one. And I say this in a very good way, like, it's not like, oh my god, like, it's always out of the blue, like, stuff happens and it's, like, out of nowhere. No. It makes sense for the character to be acting this way. They're just so well written that either options are a good option, you know? So, yeah, I'm excited to see that. My guess would be that he wouldn't snitch. He might cover it up for the sake of, like, especially with everything going on with Marie, them paying for his rehabilitation, even though he doesn't know, does he? Because there was this whole thing, you know, Hank, at some point, I think he even, you know, when uh, Walt was sick, he was like, you know, I'm going to take care of your family if anything happens. So there was this, now it's this whole reverse dynamic of them paying for his rehabilitation that I don't know if he's aware of it. And I don't think he would like it. And I think that if he does, it plays in his whole behavior you know right now but marie finally popped she she's acting out like we know that she was stealing she's a kleptomaniac and she was on full blast this episode and i can't blame her it was very hard to watch because we know what fueled this right i think it started out as she's just trying to you know it's funny because there's all these little details she comes back from this open house and she has this magazine of fantasy football but she was just over there like having a fantasy life a whole other life because I don't think she recognizes her life right now she's not happy it doesn't mean that she doesn't love Hank but he's taking it out on her his frustration which you know, we can't, we also can't blame him for feeling this way. I'm sure that we, like anyone in his position would feel all the em emotions that he's feeling and they are valid. But I'm also not blaming Marie for wanting to go out and, I, you know, I probably wouldn't go to open houses and invent myself a life and steal stuff to each his own. Like we all have our behaviors that we revert to when we feel a certain way right it's all like everyone's different but for her she also has i think she has a touch of like ocd i just i feel for her and she's just like her outfits were all over the place but they were always with the same colors the colors were purple her freaking trademark color she had yellow at first, it was just her bag, a touch of yellow with a white shirt, which means new beginning, innocence. But in this instance, I think she was kind of fantasizing about this clean slate. You know, she was saying, oh, my, my husband, this, that, blah, 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 as opposed to the life that she's leading right now. Yellow, pleasure, caution. You know, she's kind of doing this for trying to get like the thrill or just escape. Mm. And then purple, because she's not involved in the meth business. And also self-deception. She's fooling herself. She is, she knows that it's not real, but somehow she believes it. You know? And after that, she had on her shirt, like her outfits were, there was always mm, a bit more. Next outfit had some black, white, yellow, and purple. In the same shirt and we know that when there is multiple colors on a shirt it means that the, the this person is feeling all of this and there's like mixed emotions so that was marie this episode all right and then she got taken into uh, custody and i mean lucky for her her husband knows people right but then he was like uh, it's okay marie you can go do you want to go home and she started crying because she doesn't want to go home she doesn't like it there it's not fun. And then Jesse. Jesse is in a downward spiral. He's not doing well. And I don't think his situation has changed from last episode. So, you know, what I said then is still true now, I feel like. For Walt and Skylar, they're in a good place. But I think, like I said, she's right. They need to be careful about their habits because like we need to act broke for now at least there was this man outside 
who I don't know who that is don't recognize him I don't know if I was supposed to but I don't so <laughs> I can't wait to see next episode because the notebook the notebook we have it well they have it so uh yeah excited to see where it leads but for now I think I'm gonna leave it here that was season four episode three open house so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you for the next one thank you so much for watching